Electronic cigarettes could soon be banned here in San Diego. A city councilman wants those e-cigarettes banned in the same place as regular cigarettes are banned. Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance has been investigating e-cigarettes all month and joined us now for an update. Team 10 investigation found that tin in one e-cigarette that was made in China, that means that users are inhaling tin and exhaling it out into the air. One San Diego City Councilman wants to protect the public from that secondhand smoke. Users say it's just too drastic. 22-year-old Cynthia Wilson has been vaping for about a month. Just because I don't think cigarettes are good for you and that's a better alternative. Wilson vapes everywhere. In public, yes. So maybe when I'm shopping, or out and about eating. A plan by San Diego City Councilman Mark Kersey would stop that. You should not be able to consume this in such a way that negatively impacts other people. Kersey wants e-cigarettes banned in San Diego from the same places tobacco cigarettes are. He doesn't believe the public should have to breathe in secondhand vapors. Team 10 tested e-cigarettes and found tin was being inhaled and exhaled by users. We found copper in another brand. These particles are so very small that they actually get from your lungs straight into your bloodstream and then they appear in various organs. Kersey saw our report. They may or may not be as bad as cigarettes, but they're not good for you, and they're certainly not good for kids. Wilson believes the move is too drastic. I think it will cause outrage from the public. Um, it's finally been a, an alternative for smokers. While most e-cigarette users are against the ban, some store owners surprisingly aren't. When you're blowing vapors all around the room, some people just may not want that around them. Rich Cooley is one of the owners of Broadway Vapors. He doesn't believe a ban would be bad for business. It's a $1.7 billion industry. And I think it's projected in five years to be over $10 billion between online sales and retail. While e-cigarettes aren't going away, Kersey believes they should be restricted. I think most of us has, have sat in a, in a bar or restaurant in a public place next to someone who's consuming these. And I don't want to breathe it in because I don't know what's in it. Now, San Diego would join Vista, Carlsbad, and Poway as cities that ban e-cigarettes in public places. Stores would also need a tobacco permit to sell these, and they couldn't sell them to anyone under 18. I'll keep you updated on that legislation. I'm Team 10 Troubleshooter Kristen Severance.